Hello, I'm Lowell Martin and this is MCC Today. Welcome. Welcome to our new set. I am assured that it makes me look like I weigh 175 pounds. It is non-GMO and it is gluten-free and we are here with our guests today, Christy Roberts, Katie Bergen, uh, Devario Ezel, uh, Shaquita Hobson, and Dr. Laura Lewis. Please stay tuned. I promise you it will be worth it. Here at MCC, I've done things I've never thought was possible, never imagined. I've had one-on-one -on -one experiences with my professors. They've all helped. There's so much to do. We have a good sports program. Just a lot of things going on, and they, they care about students here. I honestly wouldn't trade my experience here for the world. I'm not close to being done yet, but I'm definitely on my way. I give all my thanks to Meridian Community College. Meridian Community College. Find your wings. And we are back with MCC today, and I just want to welcome our two navigators from Reading Community College. We've got Shaquita Hobson and Devario Ezel. I uh, wanted you on the show today to talk about basically what you do as navigators. So if, if, just, if you could just briefly tell me what you do and how good you do it, how well you do it, excuse me, how well you do it. Well, we work with students on a daily basis. Uh, we start out each morning um, with a system called Early Alert. Okay. Uh, faculty and st well, mainly faculty, they flag students uh, with various categories, uh, anywhere from absence, block absence. Um, Poor study habits. Um, that's academic readiness, yes. Yes, academic readiness, and, sorry. And when you flag them, uh, we're able to see their phone number and we call them and we see if there's an issue. That That's our, daily goal okay. uh, but as a just in general we're here to work with students to make sure they're uh, successful academically okay. and you come to us to work with us we want to work with you we want to we don't want to do things for you we want to help you create an academic plan for overall that you can be successful academically okay. that's our that's our main thing that we do but they like I said daily we contact students via email text our phone and, and we try to work on problems if there is a problem. There may not be a problem. It just right. could be they just uh, forgot or something like that. But sometimes there are issues and we try to work with them or if we can't work with them, we try to direct them to people who can help them. Devario, uh, a lot of this has to do with retention and retaining our students, keeping our students. Why is that so important? Well, it's, it's very important to keep our students here. Um, for one thing, to help them you know, achieve their academic goals then help them get their degree so it's very important that they stay here and try to learn everything they can learn for to help them prepare them for their career. Well y'all also do something very interesting you, you've got what's called the Survivor Series. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well the Survivor Series started um, out of need for students to be aware of what's available here at MCC. Okay. Um, so we, we, we host these monthly seminars where we try to educate students on different topics that we feel that they need to be uh, informed of. Uh, our first one was about untangling the web. As a student here at MCC, you have to use Canvas, EagleNet, and various. And Canvas is our, our learning yes, system. Yes, a learning system, system. system. Where, you, okay. where you log in, you complete assignments. And some students may not be familiar with that. Some non-traditional students may not ever have done that. So what we did was that one was to inform students of how to use the internet, okay. how, to, how to use the internet to make you successful here at MCC. Okay. And then our next Good. one was financial aid. Um, we, you need to know how your classes are going to be paid for. So it's very important to know those deadlines, know when things are due, um, know how much money is actually out there for you to attend college. And so it was very successful. And we have our next one coming up October 16th. Okay. It's um, unfurling frustration, managing overwhelming stress. Okay. College is stressful. Can be. Very much so. <laughs> I remember that for undergrad, it's very stressful. And once you learn how to deal with stress and get a plan to deal with it and face it, things in college can become a lot easier because there's so many factors mm -hmm. in a student's lives that they deal with 
that can impact their academic success. So if you could work on things that are going on in your personal life or even maybe in that school and you could get those things, I won't say, I'm gonna say controlled, but just kind of handled, mm -hmm. then you're more likely to be successful academically. Well, I tell students all the time, you're never gonna get rid of your stress. That's you're right. never gonna yeah. live completely mm -hmm. stress-free. You yeah. just have to learn to manage it. Correct. Exactly. Okay, Correct. learn to get it to a Correct. manageable level. Yes. Uh, now, can you give us, Devar, can you give us a little taste of what y'all are gonna be talking about as far as the uh, 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 next seminar? Uh, we're gonna be talking about the different types of stress, okay. how to manage stress. Such as what? Uh, like what? How, what it, give me a good way to, for them to manage stress. A good way to manage stress is first you have to know how to relax. You have okay. to know how to pre-plan things. Make sure things that don't pile up on you as you go through, you know, going to class or whatever you have going on outside of class. Okay. So that's one of the, one of the important things that we got going on as far as showing them how to manage stress, how to deal with the different types of stress, because some students have different types of stress that they sure. deal with on a daily basis. Sure. So we just want to recognize them, recognize those particular particular stresses that will help them be successful. One of the things I always find fascinating because uh, the class I teach, we we talk about stress, mm -hmm. and there are some students who just don't feel stress. I mean, they are so laid back; yeah. it's it's not yeah. even funny. Yeah. And I know that there's some stress there, but they just don't. And, and I ask them sometimes, like, how do you motivate yourself? How do you get yourself going? Because a little bit of stress is good. Yes. A little bit of anxiety is good. That's you what stress. gets you to that's open the books. You it is you stress. Yeah. Uh, it, that's what gets you to studying. If you had no stress at all, you wouldn't be worried about anything. But that's why you, 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 you look at the rough draft of the paper. That's why, you, you know, because of that, that good stress. But when it be, gets to the point where you're getting physically sick, when it gets to the point yeah. where you're starting to forget things you studied, yeah. Yeah. that's when it's too much, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How, uh, how have, the, have, have you had good, uh, 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 have a lot of people come to these Yes, seminar yes, so far? Uh, yes, this was this we this is our last year was our first year. Right, I remember. That. We, we started yeah. off this is we started off with three maybe four people. Okay. And this the year, echoes yeah, as, you're, was, as, you're, as was, you're talking. Um, three maybe four people, and this year we started off around 25, yes. 30 yeah. okay. students yeah. attending yeah. the first one, and I was just <laughs> overjoyed that they they attended. Um, and then the second one, we, we still, we're, we're picking up. We're picking okay. up and I'm, I'm real pleased at the attendance and I'm real pleased at the faculty who supported the goal of the navigators and retention is real big. And sometimes for parents to know that yes. this is happening yes. and to, to, to tell yes. their students, yes. hey, this is what you yeah. need to do. I yes. know this is coming up. Mm -hmm. So we've got the one on October 16th. How many more after that? Well, it's just one more for the year, uh, money overboard, and that's financial planning and managing your money. Okay. Uh, a lot of students and adults mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, have trouble managing their money. Okay. So we want them to prepare how to manage your money, how to save your money, how to plan. It kind of goes back to having a, if you have that money, a lot of students get refunds. Mm -hmm. and they kind of just don't know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. But this seminar is designed to help them utilize the money they have and put it in good places, a savings account. Start kind of establishing your, your uh, career goals. Okay. Um, almost okay. acting as if you're getting a paycheck and managing your money because if you don't manage your money well, then that's just not going to end well. Hopefully they will listen to you. Hopefully. 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 And Hopefully. we can, we can yeah. keep Hopefully. these students and we can help them be yes. successful. Exactly. I want to thank both of y'all mm -hmm. for being on the show today and mm -hmm. I do hope you come back next thank semester you for having us. and let's talk about yes. uh, how, what else we can do to help retain our students, to exactly. help keep our yeah. students because exactly. I think this is good as a community that we know, hey, not only do we need to get the students in school, but we need to keep, keep them in yes. school and yes. we need to have them be successful. Yes. Yeah. My, I, my passion is retention. Yes. I think, it, I think more focus needs to be placed on retaining students. Definitely. And, I, and that's, that's perfect, I almost said that. Well, thank, thank, <laughs> thank you both, you. I really thank appreciate you. it. Mm -hmm. And we will be back in just a few minutes.
Today we have two really great guests. We have Miss Christy Roberts and Miss Katie Bergen. Uh, and Katie is the Special Olympics, what is your title again? Volunteer Special Olympics? <laughs> area Director for Area 5. And Area 5 includes? Uh, Clark, Kemper, Newton, and Lauderdale Counties. Okay. And what do you do? What is your job? Um, a volunteer, yeah. <laughs> volunteer, yes. Um, I just put together all the pieces, so um, I work with all the different schools in the different counties. And this um, is from elementary, middle school, high mm -hmm. school, and yes. colleges? Yes, age and seven university. and up, yeah. Okay. Um, so age seven and up, and I just work with all the different pieces to form events and leagues and uh, raise money. Okay, so, so we're tr we have sporting events. Mm -hmm. For, uh, uh, for these students and you help organize them. And we had a, an event here at Marine Community College in the spring, which was wonderful, yeah. by the way. And I, I saw you, there was a lot of work involved. I saw you But too. the kids, I, yeah, I was so in, intensely sunburned. Uh, <laughs> but the kids had seemed to have a really good time. Mm -hmm. They did. And, and our, our, our wonderful guest here, Miss Christy, was part of it. And I'm kind of mad at Miss Christy at the moment because she, had, she did 80 sit-ups and I hurt myself getting out of bed. So, <laughs> uh, you've just put me to shame, Christy. But you also have a couple of medals. Mm -hmm. Can you sit up? Mm -hmm. I see your medals. Mm -hmm. These medals are from, um, so Christy is one of our swimmers and they swim at MCC um, mm -hmm. and they actually start swimming back again this month. So we have a swim team uh, that meets here once a week, sometimes twice a week. And um, she actually went to our state games and she's placed a couple times, several years. There you go. Mm -hmm. That is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, what other sports do we, uh, we have the swimming, what else do we do? Um, so at the spring event, or last year, okay. uh, we did horseshoes, um, we did track and field, um, we did we do softball, we do soccer. Um, there's a couple different ones that we're trying to introduce this year. Um, but I was in charge of horseshoes. You were. And it yes. was amazing. We just, you had a lot of fun with that. It was a big hit. <laughs> <laughs> and, but as I said, all the kids, I, talking to parents, and they, they are just, they are eager to find things for their kids to do, yeah. sports related. And I just think this is a wonderful program that we have. What kind of things do we have kind of looking down the line? Do we have anything mm -hmm. coming up? Yeah, um, we have an event, um, so we're still working on dates, uh, but we typically do a bowling event, and um, we usually have about six dates, between four and six dates, okay. where um, different schools will come in uh, to the bowling alley, and they'll um, bowl, and they compete um, against each other, and then um, we'll have uh, two events coming up, one in the spring and then one uh, in the summer. Uh, one is March 27th, um, and that one's here, and then uh, May 15th, and those two will have different sports. Um, out on each event, but we're now, the May 15th is also here. Mm -hmm. We're hoping, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for a dance of yes. some kind. I'm hoping we're for a dance. We're planning for a dance end of the year celebration. So, okay. Um, but we uh, have both of those events at MCC and really excited to partner with MCC. Now, how did you get involved with this? Um, I had a couple clients that came to me with different types of um, special needs, and um, I was a sports performance coach and then went to um, just general personal training and um, I started my own business uh, here in Meridian and I uh, had a couple clients that just kind of came over and uh, Christy was And that's was actually how we met because yeah. you, she is personal trainer and is yes. responsible for this. Obviously. So I'm just saying, yes. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how I got to know what you were doing mm -hmm. and then you got involved with the, the, mm -hmm. this in Special Olympics. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you'd kind of like to see happen? Um, I would really love to see leagues, so it's not enough to just have one or two events um, per year. Um, and right now we're trying to have four events per year, and most of those are at MCC, since mm -hmm. they're a great partner. Um, but I would love to see um, what is called uh, Unified Champions, and that's something that right. we're kind of starting with MCC here in the area, um, and then they'll be the only community college in the um, state of Mississippi that is actually on board with um, where we pay, take regular um, athletics and we take Special Olympics and we kind of mesh those two together, but we give um, everyone every opportunity to do pretty much everything. That um, is great. Mm -hmm. Now, how can people become involved with this? Now, if you have someone that, uh, like a student, how can, uh, do they just contact you? Mm -hmm. Or do they go yeah. through their school and try to get their school involved? Or mm -hmm. how do they go about doing it? Um, if they are in one of the um, high schools within the counties, they can actually go to um, some of their special needs teachers um, and ask them uh, to get put on the list as far as 
um, volunteering with their school and then of course coming to events because a lot of the schools bring their own volunteers. Right. Um, if they are an MCC student, um, they can contact myself or they can go to Special Olympics of Mississippi website um, or my email address is katie, K-A-T-I-E, at queencityspecialolympics.org. Okay, so uh, we might have some events coming up later in this semester or this year. We're uh -huh. hopeful of those, but they can contact you and just see if we're going to have those. Now, how about somebody that'd like to volunteer mm -hmm. to participate in and to help out with these events? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Can they just contact you as mm -hmm. well? They can, yes. Um, we do have a Facebook page, which is Queen City Special Olympics. Um, so um, they can contact us through there or, of course, um, email. Okay. But um, we're always looking for volunteers or anybody that wants to get involved. And sponsors. And sponsors, yes. Okay. <laughs> because we had we had a lot of uh, really great sponsors this last event, didn't we? Mm -hmm. I, we did. I think, and uh, we had a, gr a lot of a lot of student volunteers. Mm -hmm. I, I was just so yes. proud of those students that got out there mm -hmm. and, and really helped. Huge thanks to um, the softball team and the soccer team, mm -hmm. um, and just some of the coaches that you know really talked to their athletes about coming out is really appreciative. But the students love it. Um, so MCC did a huge portion of the, our events and looking forward to it this year too. Okay. Well, listen, I want to thank y'all so much for being here today. And uh, Christy, I want to thank you for being here today. But listen, please, please, don't get to 100 sit-ups, okay? <laughs> please. You're just making me look bad here. <laughs> she said she will. <laughs> <laughs> thank y'all so much. And I hope you come back and talk about it again, maybe in the spring. We will. Okay, I thank appreciate you. it. Yes. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Susie, we're so excited to introduce what we'll be doing for the Lauderdale County School District Play. I am excited to be a part of it this year. And to celebrate, I've brought a special guest to help us announce it. It seems he's a little late. Do you want to build a snowman? I do! <laughs> Today, show we are we are just so lucky to have Dr. Laura Lewis. Now, you have been here at MCC for how long? Because I've known you for a million years. Going it feels on like. twelve years. Okay, and I you started out as a recruiter. Yes. Okay, and then went from recruiter to now you're a teacher. Yes. And what do you teach? I teach health and wellness courses uh, in the science and wellness department. And uh, the class that I generally teach the bulk of would be uh, personal and community health okay. and health concepts. And I also teach recreational leadership and uh, first aid and CPR. And I teach spin. Okay. Uh, anything they let a, me I teach. I hear that you are a very <clears throat> fierce uh, spin teacher. Yes, um, but I like to tell everybody we, we um, progress slowly. And uh, sometimes I kind of get a little ahead of myself because I get excited, but uh, we try to progress slowly and um, uh, go off of what, how everybody is feeling and we mm -hmm. move that way. But yeah, it's a good time. We have a good time. Well, I wanted you on the show today because I wanted to talk about uh, students, incoming freshmen, and some of the difficulties they have and how they can deal with stress in a healthy way. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, when I was going to school a long time ago, they talked about the freshman 15. Now they talk about the freshman 50, that a lot of students are coming to school and immediately they start gaining a huge amount of weight. Why do you think that is? Well, let me just take a look around. Everywhere you go, we have fast food options. And um, stress definitely plays a role in, you know, having that larger appetite. And so when we're stressed out, whether it's because we've got a lot, we've got overload, we have so many things coming in, a lot of different variables, you know, school, family, jobs. Most students that I know now, you know, have jobs outside of school and they might have children. So it just adds to the stress level. And when that happens, we overcompensate through eating a lot of food. Okay. Now, what can students do not to gain <laughs> that much weight? Well, it's a balance, and that's what I try to tell my students is, you know, balancing life can be very difficult, but the number one thing that students really need to pay more attention to is nurturing themselves. Okay. And self-nurturance is extremely important, and that in, uh, includes getting enough sleep, and that's yes. one thing that I, I talk about. Because sometimes if you don't have enough sleep, you need that extra sugar or extra boost of caffeine or extra whatever that you're... You're still going to try to overcompensate. Right. People okay. don't realize when they're tired, they think they're hungry and they eat, but they're actually tired. Same thing with hydration. 
A lot of people think that they're hungry when they're actually thirsty. But when you're stressed out, that boosts those cortisol levels. And so then that kind of triggers them to go eat that sugary, fatty food, and that's just a cycle. Do we also eat more when we're bored? Yes, we eat out of boredom. I, I was doing this the other day when I literally would go to my refrigerator, open it, look in there, and I kept thinking, I'm not hungry. Yeah. I'm not hungry. I'm, I, I just, You're I'm just bored. bored. Okay. Right. Now, students um, tend to reach for snacks when they're studying. Uh, so what I like to tell students is, you know, find things that are low in calorie if you're going to be snacking or Such as? just, I would say do like a tea or a coffee, a black coffee. A lot of people don't drink black coffee except for me. It seems I do like too. I do too. I love um, good black to know. Uh, teas, coffee, uh, popcorn, something that's low calorie, nuts are, are healthier snacks, um, fruit. Wait, snack cakes are so good. Snack cakes are, but they're extremely high in sugar and fat. And okay. I know that they are yummy, yummy, because I like them too. But sometimes we have to remember, what is this going to do for me? There's no real nutritional value to that. Okay. So we need foods that are healthier instead of unhealthy. Don't you think though, and this I want you to be honest, that it's not necessarily the problem that we have with food. I think the real problem is gravity. <laughs> well, I'm over just, time, yes, it can it can play an, you know, I'm just have an effect. But but back to <laughs> back to what I think students should really be focusing on. Mm -hmm. Getting enough sleep, getting enough exercise, at least 150 minutes per week of exercise, 30 minutes now a they, day. Now, this, aren't experts saying now that you don't have to do it all at one time, that you can do like 10 minutes at yes. a time and that's okay? Yes. And actually you still benefit from Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Okay. Um, there's a ton of immediate benefits to doing short bursts of exercise. You know, Take the stairs, 10, don't 10, do the elevator. 10, 10, Take, 10. You know. Right. Take the stairs, park uh, you know, further out in the parking lot, okay. walk to class, try not to drive your car to every single parking lot where your classes are. Just you know, minimize the amount of stuff you're carrying around so you actually feel like walking. Mm -hmm. you know? So a lot of students don't even have textbooks anymore. No. So uh, you know, carry your device and walk everywhere. Wear some comfortable shoes, ladies. And um, you know, be comfortable when you're doing it, and uh, wear some breathable material clothing, because mm -hmm. uh, I know it's hot out there. But also take water with you. Drink on water when you're feeling hungry, and make sure you're getting in your exercise. If you can move up to doing 30 minutes of consistent activity or exercise a day, that's that's a really good thing, mm -hmm. and you're going to see some extra benefits from that. Weight loss, weight management those types of things, better sleep patterns actually mm -hmm. when you're exercising. And we have a great walking trail here. Yep. Right, it's a, what one is it, mile. one mile? One, one mile. mile, and it's a green line that you can follow. And mm -hmm. I, I see so many people doing that. But if students, I also recommend for them to take a to take an exercise class. Absolutely. Because they're 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 scheduled to go to these various classes. So why not schedule at least two days a week of exercise? Absolutely, they can do that, and it's so easy to put that on your schedule. We have different types of classes like water aerobics, spinning. We offer yoga, which is a really good class for mm -hmm. relaxation. They do meditation with that. Um, we offer sometimes weight training classes. We offer swim. And I say water aerobics. Um, so really, and truly, also, we have a plethora of things that they can get into and do. But they could also come and like use the weight room. Absolutely. They can use the swimming pool. Yes. So we have a you know so there there's all kinds of things available if you would just take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. And I teach in my class all the time. It's like this helps your stress levels. Absolutely. This is that nervous energy getting out in a healthy manner. Exactly. Okay. And one thing I like to tell students and really everyone who comes and asks these questions, be prepared. You know, um, if you're a student that you're on the go all the time and you want to go to a fast food restaurant, if you're already prepared and you already have your food prepared before the next day, you don't have to worry about that and you're not having to go out and spending all that extra money and doing those things, but you're also going to probably cut your calories. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm not gonna say in half, but I can definitely say enough to where you're gonna notice a difference. So that maybe you won't have that freshman 50. Right. So, okay, last, do you think the government will do anything about gravity? I, you know, maybe they're working on it. I, so. <laughs> I don't Laura, know. <laughs> thank you for being here today. I appreciate it greatly. Will you thank come you. back and see us? Absolutely, I'd love to. Okay. Thank you. We will be back in just a few minutes. Here at MCC, I've done things I've never thought was possible, never imagined, 
I've had one-on-one -on -one experiences with my professors. They've all helped. There's so much to do. We have a good sports program. Just a lot of things going on, and they, they care about students here. I honestly wouldn't trade my experience here for the world. I'm not close to being done yet, but I'm definitely on my way. I give all my thanks to Meridian Community College. Meridian Community College. Find your wings. Our students have been out and about, they have been taking video, they have been asking for lullaby verses, they have been doing all kinds of stuff. Please don't feed them. On August 28th, MCC hosted a series called the Survivor Series to help people navigate Canvas. Hello, my name is Shaquita Hobson. I'm a college navigator here at Meridian Community College where I work with students to help them achieve their academic goals. I'm one of two. Uh, the other navigator is Devario Ezel. Uh, we work with students helping them navigate college, and we started the Survivor Series to help them better navigate college. It initially started because we had several students who had issues, um, and we picked, we picked different issues that we felt students were having trouble with, and we decided to, do, to start the Survivor Series. Uh, the first of the Survivor Series is about Canvas, email, EagleNet, and beyond. Uh, we're trying to help students learn how to use Canvas. This is one of the ways that we can retain students, is teaching them the different avenues of college, such as Canvas and various topics like this. This particular uh, series started off with e-learning, um, and e-learning center representative, her name is Holly uh, Purvis, and Holly is located in e-learning, and she and that entire wonderful staff could answer any questions concerning Canvas, uh, proctoring, uh, tutoring, and all those things. And this is Noah from MCC Today. Hey, this is Rene Dace with your MCC update. For all you race fans out there, the Queen City Race for Life and Street Strut will be Saturday, September 28th, 2019. It will be at 7.30 a.m. Race registration begins at 6.30. This event will be hosted by MCC's Phi Theta Kappa. Moving on to the stars, MCC will host its Fall Astronomy Lecture Solar System Encounters September 24th at 6 p.m. in the McCain Theater. Lecture is free of charge, presented by Edwin Fine, Director of Rainwater Observatory. This is for Rainy Days. Join us next week. Special thanks go out to Matt Milner, our executive director, Josh Taylor, our media consultant, and Jabrisha Rush, who is our student director. We couldn't do it without them. Thank you. Here at MCC, I've done things I've never thought was possible, never imagined. I've had one-on-one -on -one experiences with my professors. They've all helped. There's so much to do. We have a good sports program. Just a lot of things going on, and they, they care about students here. I honestly wouldn't trade my experience here for the world. I'm not close to being done yet, but I'm definitely on my way. I give all my thanks to Meridian Community College. Meridian Community College. Find your wings.